Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm going to be back on Old Pickle today. This is my 1958 press bumper panel bus for those of you who aren't familiar with this bus. It is mounted on a homemade rotisserie that I built out of cable reels. If you want to take a look at how that was done, I'll put a link right here and you can go pick up from there. Now, we haven't done much on it in the last couple weeks. I've had kind of a list of things I've had to get done, but that is how it sits in my carport currently. Where we left off was treating this section of framing with the OSFO uh, rust converter rust treatment. I'll put a link in the description. You can go check that out if you want. It's really cheap uh, to get on Amazon and we've used it on quite a few things now. I'm really happy with it. But this is all original paint. I don't want to mess with this. It's all strong. The welds here are perfect from the factory. There is no need to cut that out and redo it. It is good to the torsion tube and just slightly past. So I have left that alone. Ideally, I would have wanted to butt weld here just because of the aesthetic of it. But since it's bad within about two inches of the torsion tube, I wanted to go ahead and lap weld it over and marry those two together the best I could. So we made this piece and uh, I've cut it a little long in the tooth so that I can bang on it with a hammer so we can get it kind of up close. I'll make a mark uh, where it needs to be and then we'll fit that piece in. Uh, I'm going to drill some holes here to plug weld and drill some holes on the top as well to put, do the same thing to plug weld. I'll have to cut a hole in the floor. I mean, I don't think that floor is salvageable. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Everything's salvageable, right? <laughs> So we'll cut a hole in that with plasma cutter uh, and plug weld, excuse me, up here as well. Obviously I'm going to have to turn, turn the bus uh, to, in order to do that. So this is not going to be just a, a one hour project. And then once we get it turned over, we'll go ahead and make this lower piece down here and get it welded in. So let me get that off of there, get those holes drilled kind of where I think I'm going to want those. I'll come out here with a Sharpie and mark those out. And we'll try and get that piece in. Alright, so I've marked my... I put five, and I'll go in and evenly space them. I'll make a mark where I already did, where this ends. And we'll just try to get those kind of about an inch apart. And then I've made a mark here. Obviously, I can't take a Sharpie while it's in there and mark where I need to go. But we'll just evenly space uh, probably two or three little plug welds up on top there. And then I've made a mark here where to cut. So I'll take that into the saw, drill some holes and cut that end off and see if we can't hammer that in there. I think once we've, uh, once we've cut that end off, some of this gap that's here will be closed. Again, this is, this is the same size as the tubing or the frame was, but right here is about where things kind of started to spread out. So I'm lapping it over, so we're going to lose some of that uh, length on this piece here. Plus I notched right there. Probably shouldn't have done that. Live and learn. Alright, let's get that drilled out and cut. I got it cut down to length. It looks like it fits in there pretty good. Just a little, if I let go, it's just a little light on that corner there. But it fits pretty well. I'm going to maybe tap uh, this down a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but kind of peeling up just a little bit right here. I think if I can just kind of turn that, tap that down a little bit, kind of get a bigger hammer kind of thing and beat that down, we should be pretty well good to go. Pretty snug fit. Getting it in there is a little bit of a struggle, which is good. That means it's good and tight. And then I may put a Bloomfield Jack, or a, we call them Bloomfield Jacks here because they're made in Bloomfield, Indiana, which is just south of us, but a high lift jack or farm jack where I can basically push this piece that's kind of sagging down on us, shove it back a little bit, and then when I let it go, we'll go ahead and weld it here, and then when I let it go, maybe it won't kick that piece out. So I think that one's pretty well ready to be tacked in there. 
got a little bit of an angle here going on. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. Let's see what we can do about getting that in there. Well, I've coated both surfaces, the piece that I made and uh, the bus with uh, 3M's Weld Through 2, Weld Through Primer. You're still supposed to clean uh, the area down to metal, but I'm not going to be able to paint or treat any of this once I get that piece on there. And that's been my big concern with making the piece this way is I'm, I'm basically creating, I'm creating a rust uh, potential spot here. But I've treated it with that rust preventative and then sprayed it with a weld through primer. And we'll just keep an eye on it. I don't think it'll cause us any issues later, but if it does, I know the person that made those and we can just make a new one. So I'm gonna let that sit and get tacky. It says to treat both surfaces. It says it takes five to 10 minutes. It's, it's almost there now, it feels like. So hopefully that'll keep us from getting anything built up in there. And then I'm working on trying to get this front bumper off of here. There's a couple of bolts still in it. These two are ripped completely out. And that bracket is just mangled. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. But I'd like to get this off of there so we can kind of pull off this little, this little gem. <laughs> you know, if we get that off, I'd like to kind of see what's back there. We know what it's probably going to look like, but i like to see how much of it's left, you know. I'm going to go with not much. I know that's stretching it, but. So I freeled those two bolts I just got broke loose. These are busted out. This one, I tried hammering on a socket that's a size smaller to get it out, but I couldn't get it. So I'm gonna go get the, because it has a washer on it, I'm gonna go get the angle grinder and probably just cut that one off. And then of course there's one down on the other side right there. I'll probably just go ahead and cut it off too. But it'd be kind of nice to get that off of there. Plus we could start kind of hammer and dollying up on these bumpers like on a rainy day or something, you know? Got plenty of plenty of busy work like that to do. So I'd like to get that off of there. But we'll let this get dry and we'll get this piece welded in tonight. I'll go ahead and get the grinder and we're gonna grind this piece down uh, to bare metal and we should be good to go. And don't go near that. That's dangerous. <laughs> That'll get you if you're not careful. So I've just stuck a jack against it. Uh, like I said, this is a, they call these Bloomfield jacks if you're from Indiana, because they're made in Bloomfield, Indiana. But I've got that push just one click back of what should be tight. So let's see if we can't get uh, that to fit in there. It's gonna be pretty snug. Let's give it a whirl. But that is a pretty tight fit in there which is what we want. So we're looking pretty good there. And then when I let that floor down, got a pretty good gap there right now. When I let that floor, when I let the jack out and let that floor down, we'll be able to see how much sag it really has. So let me tap. Looks like this is sitting a little bit proud back here. You can see that or not. We're just a little high right there. Let me hit that down, and then I think we're ready to put that in there. That fits really snug. I'm happy with that. Cool. Now the trick is gonna be staying away from this uh, jack and not knocking it out. So I'm gonna put a couple tacks here and a couple down there, and then uh, we'll make sure we're good and straight before I go too much further. And well, we're in.
bring it over here. I'm going to keep at it. I don't need to see much more of that. Spot welded or plug welded there. Welded on the end. I'll keep at it and I'll bring you back. Probably won't get the uh, top piece all the way welded in tonight. Uh, we're coming on sunset. And I still have to flip the bus and get up in there and weld. Cut a hole in the floor and all that. But we'll get all this welded up and we'll take a peek see what it looks like. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, as much as I'm going to do right now. Once I turn the bus, I've tacked down here. Right down here, it's hot. Don't touch that. So I've got everything plugged, and once we turn the bus, I'll go ahead and we'll fill in that weld right there. But welding up around that torsion tube is just so tight when you get up to the top there. So best I can do with the space I have to work in, but... Why do you say we drop that uh, floor down and see if she goes kabang? What do you say? I'll shut my welder off too before we do that. Maybe you'll be able to see from there, I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm going to open the arm of this jack and kick the uh, release down. So if it goes kabang and knocks you off. I apologize in advance. I'm gonna try and catch it. My release isn't releasing. Okay, you ready? How much did we drop? You heard it grow crunchy, crunchy as I moved it out of the way. got the welder out here too. Let me just go ahead and tack that real quick. Don't have any uh, light gaps through there anymore so it definitely dropped down quite a bit. And my piece I welded in didn't go kabang. So I'd say that part of the floor is pretty well braced up. Just to prove it to everyone who's going to correct me and say it's a high lift jack. Bloomfield, Indiana. If you don't have one of those, do like my dad does and stop and pick one off, off the side of the road for free. Or go buy one because they come in super handy for lots of different things. Don't ever stand behind one when you're releasing it and the car's on it though. Ask me how I know. Well, that'll do just fine. Got that piece of the floor all welded back up and attached again. I just welded it on this side. I didn't weld it on the other side of it. I got to put those back in temporarily and then go back and cut them out. That's the thing about this bus, the way it's so bad. You got to do everything twice. <laughs> you know, I cut that section of flooring out, but before, or frame out, but before I did that, I had to build a frame around it. it it's just, it's so weak that each part you cut, you just got to make plans for where it's going to collapse on the part you're not cutting. But I think that'll be just fine and i'm pretty happy with how that looks on there so we'll go with it once we flip the bus over i'll go ahead and weld in uh, right here i didn't i just tacked in two spots there keep it from kind of curling up when i put those uh, spot welds in there or plug welds sorry uh this bumper i got the uh this one bolt here out you can see it was just kind of wallered. That's why there was a washer on that one. But we're just kind of just kind of hanging out. I got a couple down here left. I'm going to try and cut those out real quick. And we'll go ahead and see if we can't get this bumper off of there tonight. Sometimes you have thoughts of what if. What if those would come off of there? And I took the grinder 
You can see where I got in the bumper a little bit there, but I took a grinder and made a slit in the bolt head. And believe it or not, that sucker's turning. Now all we got left is that one down the corner. Or we could just pull it completely off the truck. <laughs> okay, I don't want to do that because I don't want to rip that to the point where I can't tell what I need to build later. So let me get down there and cut that one off. So here's what I'm saying down here. If I could just rip that off of there. Just tear it off. I'm not going to be able to see what was down there <laughs> to see what I need to make. And this up, this upper one, or the one that's up currently, is in about the same condition. So I'm probably going to need both of them, the bits that are good on both of them, to figure out how to make that. So try and not tear that out of there. I might be able to go get the plasma cutter and cut it, but let's try and get the bolt out first. So I'm going to go get a zip tie and zip tie this back up. Should have took that bottom one out first, shouldn't I? Oh well. Live and learn. For my next bus, I'm going to take all that rust into the salad bag. Yeah, there'll be another one. All right. Yeah, try not to get into these bumpers, although they're not in great shape. Press bumpers are kind of hard to come by. There we go. I haven't been able to get to this side of the bus very well for a couple days. We had a dumpster in here tearing down the uh, camper. I've been wanting to do this for about two weeks. Looks kind of naked. Shall we see if we can pull that off? I don't know, you think we can get that off of there? Let's see if we can get it off. I mean, there can't be much holding it. Well, there can be, I guess. It doesn't feel like it, though. like just this lap over piece right here. That's it. Yeah, I think that's all that's holding it. Just the positioning over the brackets and underneath this piece here. Should we cut it? I have to be careful. I don't want to cut into any of the precious nose that's left. Let's cut it out of there and see what we got. 
Well, we know they slit. Right, well, we don't know. I'm guessing they slit right down here. Whoever did this bus, God only knows what they did. Yeah, it looks like it just follows that. What would be a bus. Looks better already. Gosh, that looks better already. OG paint. I missed one. <laughs> wow. Oh, pickle the bus. How do you like that? Look where they had that bondoed over. How thick that is. <laughs> well, that was a successful rip off there. I actually expected this to be, I don't know what you guys expected, I expected this to be much worse. I mean, it all needs replaced, but wow. There's actually enough there for me to get a pattern when I go to make it. That valance right there, I think I can actually make that off of that one. And this nose, you know, I, I, I think if we put a football behind that, it's caved in pretty bad. Let me get my headphones off my neck here. That's better, it makes it hard to talk. I think once we get a football in there and kind of poke that nose out, there might even be enough. There, now you can get a better view of it dished. So it dishes way in right here. I think if we put a football behind it or a basketball, whichever one, it's pretty round, so I might use a basketball, inflate it, pop that out, weld this back together I have to use some filler rod or something. And we'll build this part of the nose up. So for those of you who don't know buses, this isn't a great example either. It's pretty rusty itself, but it kind of dips down and goes to a point right there. Ignore the black paint and busted out Bondo. Kind of dips down. Pickles cut about right where the towel bar is on the bumper. A little bit above that maybe. Yeah, it's a little bit, cut a little bit above that. He's a cut above. Anyway. Yeah, we, I was anticipating having to replace all the way up to the headlight bucket, which it's brutal. It's brutally rusted. But again, I'm going for a, a full on crusty patina ride here. Yeah, I'll take a hammer. And See if we can go through it anywhere, but it, it is much better than I anticipated. I'm glad we took that off. Thank you for advising me to take that off. That was awesome. All right, everyone. With that, I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for being here. And hopefully we're back on this guy next time. Uh, we are working on building a car hauler over here out of that trailer we tore apart. So that will be showing up at some point on this channel. But 
for right now, we're calling it a night. And thanks to each and every one of you for being here. It really does mean a lot to me, your comments. Negative, positive, constructive, I don't care. If you leave a comment, uh, that really just makes my day. So I appreciate each and every one of you. And we will see you next time. Just waiting on a few things to, to dry. You heard the phrase, waiting on paint to dry. So I'm playing around with the plasma cutter while I'm waiting on paint to dry. One of the ones I did just a few minutes ago. Kind of fun playing around with. It's not a very big surface, it's pretty small. well you're gonna be able to see that but it's another plasma cut tree or pine whatever you want to call it I did here I laid on the ground maybe you can see it there kind of cool kind of fun to play around with you know somebody will like it at a show when I go and then one more I just tacked his tail in three places on the back. Yeah, he's kind of cute, don't you think? So for those of you who don't know, I do a little uh, Etsy shop and I have art shows throughout the year, of course. This year, for obvious reasons, most of those art shows have been canceled, but that doesn't mean we can't make. So when I go to garage sales and different flea markets, whatever. I pick up trowels and saws and then we make fun little things out of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet. It's different. Let's see if we can come up with something for it. Alright everybody, I gotta sign off.